Alrighty, welcome back to Vampire. I am uh, no longer in a rush, so I can be a little less annoyed when trying to talk to the vast amount of people that are here. Oh, hey, look, we have a map of the whole area. I didn't even look at this before. Uh, so we have a few different districts to maintain here, and probably tons of civilians that we need to talk to. I kind of hate when you have an open world or well, like an open hub kind of game like this. And there's just, they just dump like 50 different people to talk to, but oh well. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. Whoa. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. Yeah, you right? You call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Ooh. Oh, he's a traitor! Well, that's a good thing to find out. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I'm probably not going to buy anything directly off of him because I'm going to need money and I only have 53 shillings. Okay, so I can buy a shotgun for 315 shillings. I can buy shotgun ammo for pretty cheap, honestly. I'll buy that. Oh, it's one apiece. Oh. Uh, yeah, all right. That that's not as cheap as I was initially thinking there. Oh, he has all some of these other things. That's nice. I'll buy a couple shotgun shells just because I already used a few there. I ended up buying six, so that's not really a couple. But yeah, I used a few in that those that last fight that didn't work out. Still trying to save lives. You know it. All right, I'm gonna ask you 50 billion questions and then we're gonna move on. Oh my God. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Well, how's your health? Yeah, you're fine, at least. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. What if, when you give them those guns, they go off and kill people preemptively, even if they weren't actually in any danger from that person? Then, yeah, and that's kind of a bad thing, but, you know, whatever. We're, we're a vampire. I can't really judge too much right now, because we have shit we gotta do to keep ourselves safe. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Right. How's the sanitary situation? Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Ew. Well, as long as you don't run into any other creatures of the night, you should be fine. I wonder if we run into any werewolves in this. I haven't really looked at the uh, promotional material for this. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped from the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Mmm, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Wow, that is a long name and it barely fits, doesn't really fit on the screen. Okay. A new citizen investigation is available. Citizen investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X and then access to your map to locate the area to explore. Okay, we didn't really look at this beforehand, but we need to find missing ingredients. And uh, the doctors are tied to that. And we need to, well, we, 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 I think we got all the hospital ones then. Can we see the different investigations for these places? I'm not sure. But it sounds like I might have to deal with those guys in the back once more. Well, that's about Goodbye. it for him. 
I'm gonna go back there. I wanna get some action in. Especially now that I know that there are... just randomly... undead right behind the hospital. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. I don't know exactly where I was before. I think it was over here? I think. Okay. This guy respawned. <laughs> That's not good. So what is the investigation for this area? Uh, let me get to the citizen list. Okay. Nope. Investigation. Track. Details. Find the lost wallet in the garden. Alright. Milton Hooks, the Pembroke uh, ambulance driver, confessed a patient he was bringing to the hospital attacked him. He had to escape through the facility's garden, but lost his wallet while doing so. The attack must have been quite violent, for Milton refuses to return there anymore. Maybe I should search the garden and see for myself what's really going on there. And so if I look at the map... Can I actually get... something on here? Oh, here's the zoom in. Alright. The Garden of Evil one is more to our left. Probably with those two guys who kind of kicked my butt before. Alright, this time... This time... I'm gonna make sure not to fuck up. Oh right, my shotgun is not... for stunning. Hold on, hold on. Whoop. I tried swapping to my my offhand, but I keep forgetting that it's not equipped. Alright. Let me reload my shotgun. And we're gonna swap off slightly. I wanna be able to stun. I wanna be able to reduce the stun bar. I wish that the scythe didn't like do this. I'd be totally fine if I could just have one extra slot. Then I could have something dedicated for my scythe. And something dedicated for something else, but oh well. We're gonna we're gonna slap my stake here. Actually, that means I can unequip this. What is the damage on this? Sixty-five. Ooh, and it has more stamina. Uh, or wait, no, it uses more stamina. That's actually not as good. So it has a slower speed, higher stamina use, but it does more damage per swing. That's not too terrible. As long as I make sure to keep an eye out for what we're doing. Alright, there's a teleport spot up here. Why is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> the hospital people are pretty much right here. I wonder if I'm gonna have to, like, eavesdrop through the window at some point. Okay. Hey! Uh-oh. There's a third guy here. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, didn't mean to dodge into him. Oh, Jesus Christ! These guys are kicking my ass. Oh, for fuck's sake, this attack's really annoying. They just latch on to you! I gotta... I gotta be ready for that. They just jump, and if you go anywhere in the direction, you try to stun or anything, you're fucked. Oh, this guy's level 7 now. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy! I was hoping to sneak up on them and get some damage done. Oh, he screams! That's annoying. This is where shadow powers would come in use. Oh, Jesus, he went far. Gonna reload my shotgun. I'm gonna use it on this guy. This guy doesn't really have damage resistance. Therefore, he's an easy kill in comparison. Ah, shit. That's alright, that's alright. Whatever, we're chill. Wham! Stun! And taking some blood! Whew, 
He dodged himself. I'm chilling. I need stamina. I'm not trying to not trying to have the same thing that happened to me before. Okay. There. We have to play smarter. Just a bit. These guys don't really give a lot of XP, which is a little disappointing. I just killed people who are higher level than me and I got 10 XP. That sucks. Hey! I got a wallet. Or photography in a wallet. A photography of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Aww. Is that all I care about? I was about to say, like, what about the rest of the wallet? Alright, we do have it. It was just represented by all us only really having the wallet, or the picture of the wallet. Okay. I want to explore a little bit back here. Doesn't really look like there's any other enemies immediately around here. Ooh, that gave me a lot of ammo. Good. What about this? Ah, just more quarantine stuff. I don't gotta worry about the quarantine. I don't get sick anymore. I just erupt in flames in the sun. Well, kind of. <laughs> I get I get burned really, really hard by the sun, but I guess I don't actually like light on fire, considering the report we read where the guy was still kind of there from before. What's going it's on over right here? Right. Okay, can't do anything with it. But this is the proper area. Aha! This is how we accessed it before. Alright, there. We completed a mission. A side mission. Whoops, this is not the front entrance. Milton? Where the hell is he? Milton! Aha! I'm chilling over here at the front. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah, including yours. At least, you know, I'm hoping this will help you out in your time of need. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good! good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Oh. Okay. I didn't even really think about it, because I didn't really look at the picture all that hard, because I don't actually care. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. There would be interracial problems back in the day. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Not what I was asking, but sure. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Right, but you know, that's trouble for the hospital. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I mean, overall, somewhat, yeah. You just have a relationship, but it could lead into trouble. What if she gets Goodbye, infected mate. with a disease here and passes it to you through various means? That would be bad for everybody. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. Oh, boy. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. You know, the, the picture for her looks a lot worse in the... Whenever we see her in, like, the social circle thing, she doesn't look like it too much. This this picture looks like a very angry, like, 40, 50-year-old lady. She does not look that similar. Maybe it's just the angle and lighting 
You know, it's like when you take a driver's license picture. Sometimes it looks a little bit off. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Get a grip! <laughs> you must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry. I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Well, I can't help you there. I don't even know much about the Spanish flu. Nurse Hawkins, I'm from the, the future. Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Mm. That'd be impressive, honestly. But I don't think this, this 1918 disease is going to do that. It will kill hundreds of thousands to millions, but you know, that that's small numbers. Not really, it's bad. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. I, well, I intend to. I mean, I'm sure there'll be a lot of things I can do to make sure at least the people in this district are sanitized and healthy. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Alright, how, how is everybody else doing? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton the ambulance driver is even more grumpy than usual. Especially concerning doctors. <laughs> it's funny because we know that she's going out with them. And she's just like, oh, Milton's grumpy. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Okay. What does that help us with? Milton's reputation is mediocre among his colleagues. Oh. Well, yeah, duh, I guess. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Don't worry, I, I have a way to, to handle that. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Like, say in KOTOR. There are a couple times in Knights of the Republic where you would try to do a mind trick, and the person would be like, I know what you just did, what the hell? And then suddenly everything's bad. Pepper. I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Hmm. Alright. Isn't she the one who's like overqualified or was that a different nurse? I think Brannigan is the one that's overqualified. Yeah. Alright. We haven't ran into her yet. Even though we have pictures of her. That's always weird. But hey, alright. At least we know who we haven't met. Somewhat. Alright. Well, I'm Goodbye, nice backing words. off. Where are the other people? I want to see every single person before we actually head on. Because, I, again, I, I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, pass the day by, do a mission, and then, oh, whoops! Half of the people are all dead because a vampire attacked your hospital, and... It's locked. Now you can't, now you can't do those missions. That would really, really suck. Okay, the door's locked for that room. Guess I'm not talking to a patient. What about over here? We don't know this guy. Ooh. What the fuck is going on here? The fuck? What just happened over here? I'm alright. Oh, I'm so very confused. What the fuck was that? Why were they together? Why was there 
Why were their heart things glowing even brighter than before? And why did it seem like there was like this dark energy coursing outside of their window? <laughs> Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? The windows? I should investigate. Yeah, I guess I could do that, but we're just gonna keep chatting with it's locked other right. people first. Hey, could you open this chest for me? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Okay. Can we get you to be a doctor once more? Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Yeah. Uh, the only thing she's relieved of is her life. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. You know, as a vampire, I don't know how much I can contest that idea. If this were like a sci-fi game, I'd be like, mm, yeah, all right. But as a vampire, maybe there are souls in this universe. <laughs> oh boy. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one too. Most people fear or at least have a respect for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Hmm, that's a very wise point of view. Rakesh is not afraid of, the, of death since he served as a medic. Okay, I guess we can ask him about his job, or his time as a medic. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Okay, one thing to note, I hate the, how, how close the camera is. I don't like this angle for a game. I want to see my character interacting. I'd rather have it either jumping back and forth or far enough away that I can see both of them without him being like way on the edge. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Who the hell's that? Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Ah. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. It happened with my sister though, so you know, there's that. Let's talk about your personal life. A pawnbroker. I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Yeah, I can barter for some goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not doing an evil route, because uh, you would have to change that tone. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. 
Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. <laughs> I don't particularly agree with it. I would totally be down to be an immortal as long as it was a comfortable immortality. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Who knows how long I'll last as a vampire. Maybe this will be one of those stories where I die at the end, or maybe we'll see how things go. I'd love to see him, or like our guy, Jonathan, be a vampire in like a hundred years and just have to deal with modern day stuff. Not as a game, but just as like a, hey, that's the ending. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Rakesh. Let's get a little bit of trading Please done. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. And then we can head out of here. An igme- in the- in, in, in- wow. An igne- what in the hell's wrong with me? An enigmatic formula. How was I not able to pronounce that? This formula is written on a piece of paper, seems complex, and needs to be analyzed. Well, I guess that's the only thing I'm interested in buying from him right now. I cannot enter. It's probably for the better. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry you ended up on my plane and called medical bench, sir. I understand you must be very angry about this unfair situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. Investigate a citizen's actions. Okay. How the hell do I do that? Do I have to go to the little mist that was on the ground? Is that what's going on? Ah. You don't mind if I search your pockets. Do you, sir? Jesus. You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. <laughs> wow, he looks like a real scumbag from here. Sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. Ooh, boy! Can I go talk to him about that? Rakesh steals from the dead he is responsible for. I guess that's something we should have interpreted a little bit earlier. He guards the morgue and takes stuff from it at the same time. Okay. So... If these... If the Goswicks ever do anything, I have to go out the front. to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Sorry guys, I, I missed the conversation you were having. I wonder if I can confront the good doc about his general... I wouldn't say crime. I'd say crime. Good Rakesh. Evening, Dr. Reed. Such a ple Personal questions. You steal from the dead. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. I don't know. Depends on how selfish they are. If I was dead, and there were quite a few things that I could just keep with my dead body, 
I'd do it. I'd have a tomb, just be like, nope, that stays down there with me. No one's allowed to use it. But it'd be super useful, fuck. <laughs> Get your own. You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Yeah, that's very subjective. What if one of the things you took is a family artifact? A family artifact, a family heirloom can be anything, anything simple, especially like, like a pocket watch. There are plenty of people who pass pocket watches Goodbye, throughout their Mr. families. And what if the reason how come they are unwanted or undesired is because nobody even knows they're dead? What if they just went missing? I will not let you down, my boy. And they came from a different place. Okay, they're starting to do their... Their citizen thing. I need to investigate, because if they're doing some kind of witchcraft or something, I, I need to find out. Okay. We have to go all the way around over here to investigate. 